Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. <laughs> Today, I'm going to show you around our Land Rover Discovery van. Then I'll take you for riding it. But first, I'll tell you a bit more about it. It's a three litre TD V6 panel van. 2013 on a 13 plate, low mileage for the year, done 60,397 miles, two registered owners, full service history, and in uh, absolutely fantastic condition. If you were just looking at the vehicle from the outside, you'd never know it's a van. Got to be the best commercial vehicle on the road. Uh, it certainly get you anywhere, that's, that's for sure. So, front looks exactly like a normal Discovery. We've got the protective wheel arch mouldings. It's the multi-spoke alloy wheels as well. Rear privacy glass. The only thing you can tell from the inside really is the uh, these panels here are blocked off the back windows don't work the the switches are there and everything but they don't work this one's got seats in which i'll show you but we've also got the panel to uh, take the seats out and put the the floor back to being flat electric tailgate release over there it's uh, split into two parts the tailgate and again, this part will fold flat. And then we've got the heavy duty load cover in there. Um, let's say this, this has got the back seats, but you can have it kind of loading all the way through. And we've got the parts for that. Reversing sensors in the rear bumper. Uh, it's got the hard cover on top of the bumper so you don't scratch it. And the, the tow bar. Now, this is where it uh, differs from normal vans. You've got two inertia reel uh, rear seat belts and the centre one is a lap strap. But uh, I'm assuming this folds forward as well, this seat, but I, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. It's got the heavy duty uh, mats in the back and also carpets. And as you can see, you can, you can see out these windows uh, just like a normal Discovery. So uh, really handy vehicle. You can use it as a, a, a family vehicle, and if you're VAT registered, then uh, it's going to save you a few thousand pounds on, on buying one that's uh, that's not a commercial and, and not plus fat. Okay, I'll just take you for a ride in it. Okay, so we've got the two Land Rover keys, it's keyless go, uh, foot on the brake and start like so, um, e excellent vehicle, um, let's see, full service history, 27th of the 3rd, 2014, to 11696 Lake Loon Land Rover, 10th of the 4th, 2015, 22,262 miles Lakeland Land Rover 23rd of 3rd 2016 30,435 Lakeland Land Rover then 8th of 3rd 2017 37,902 K Motors I think this might be a dealer we use as well when we've got any repairs on Land Rovers uh, an independent I could be wrong but uh, I'm sure it is 13th of 3rd 2018 44,610 miles K motors 4th of 3rd 2019 50,637 miles K motors and then 11th of 3rd 2020 56,536 K motors it's done 60,404 it's always good to see somebody going back to the same dealer uh, over and over again because you know that they, they haven't been ripped off, they've been looked after and they're satisfied with the service, otherwise the next year they'd have gone somewhere else. So, so that's great to see. Now, this, this Discovery van, as you can see inside, the back windows you can see through. Some of the, the, the vans we've had, obviously, they've, they've perhaps been moving stuff, uh, heavy uh, machinery or whatever, and they didn't want the back windows to get smashed from the inside. Uh, so they, they've had panels put over but this you can see out so you can see out the back there's no bulkhead it's just like driving an ordinary discovery which which 
is uh, tr they're tremendous cars. Um, it's got back seats in. We have got the uh, panels and, and the equipment to put back to a, a flat floor van. So again, the back seats, that, that's fantastic. Who would buy one of these? Um, I, I can imagine somebody who has to go on building sites, but who has to travel as well for um, to get there. Uh, ideal, absolutely ideal. I mean, this, this car, you would be lucky to use, to have it as a daily user, let alone as a work van. So being, uh, crikey, I can't remember how much we're asking for it, 15,995 plus VAT, something like that. So being a, uh, a VAT uh, uh, attracting vehicle, you can get a, a, this discovery um, and get your 20% back if you're VAT registered. It, it's a no-brainer. Now, it hasn't got the touchscreen sat-nav. It hasn't got leather haven't got electric seats and to be perfectly honest those are all plus points in my book these these seats were when it came in Lance has cleaned it the seats were a little bit grubby not bad but they've come up like brand new now you, you can't do that with leather if you mistreat leather no amount of cleaning it will bring it back to uh, to new it's obviously got to be retreated and it's an expensive process cloth is warmer in the winter and and cooler in the summer so it, it's probably nicer to nicer to drive you've got air conditioning anyway so that that's good but again th this would probably be my ideal specification i i like range rovers as you, as you probably know we were looking this week at uh, normally we've well we've never had a, a Range Rover SE, um, Range Rover Sport SE that is. We, we normally have HSEs and, and stuff like that. But we saw a Range Rover Sport, and it had smaller wheels on, and didn't have the electric seats, and, and perhaps a, a couple more things. But it was quite a bit cheaper. And to to be fair, I was actually contemplating buying it. Um, to, you know because that would be my ideal vehicle to keep why do I need three position electric seats when there's only me that drives it um, you know and, and it's just stuff that sometimes it goes wrong and it doesn't matter while you're using it but it's when you come to sell it that uh, and it, well any car dealer who actually knows what he's doing <laughs> who looks around and finds your electric seat he's not working it's, it's 500 quid no doubt so um, although it may not bother you when you come to part exchange it but these can't go wrong and it's um, I mean it, it's it's well made my ideal car I suppose would be a Range Rover SE with the smaller wheels on so it's more comfortable you don't feel as, as much of the road or the, the, the noise or a, a Discovery with seats covered in Levi denim you could never wear it out <laughs> it, uh, it would just last forever the whole life cost of the vehicle would, would be nothing so uh, but the, this what a great um, what a great work vehicle it's it drives superb it's been well serviced it's nice outside it looks good you can't tell it's a commercial you can't tell it's a van um, and, and the family you could you could just use it for any occasion and it doesn't matter what um, safety camera there and it, it doesn't matter what occasion and also the more important thing is it doesn't matter what weather you're going to get there and you're going to be safe
did notice I used the wipers before. It, <laughs> sunglasses on. It was really sunny about 20 minutes ago. I stopped filming the outside. I started putting my cameras on the inside. I nearly got knocked over by a, an Amazon Prime electric van, which I didn't hear come in and I stepped back <laughs> to look at the car and nearly got wasted. Electric cars. I don't know, unbelievable. So here we go, we've got paddle shift as well. We've got your telephone controls on the right. You've got Bluetooth audio streaming and you've got Bluetooth um, hands-free. And it's got buttons. It's got buttons to press that click and wheels to turn. It, it's, it's just a, it's a how vehicles, they've let themselves down by putting an electronic handbrake in it, but all the rest, it's just great value for money. Just say, somebody working on the motorways, site foreman somewhere, quantity surveyor, anybody who needs a nice vehicle, presentable, but at a moment's notice to have to go off road or on a building site, and th this is the vehicle. Um, we, we've not advertised it properly because it wasn't clean, and it also come with all the other bits in the back that were just stuffed in. So we've already had quite a few inquiries. There's a few people waiting to see this video. One person from way, way away. Um, so I don't expect it to hang about. And I've even had a live chat on it while I've been uh, out videoing it. I mean, it, out, outside now, as I say, I can dispense with the, with the shades because it's lashing down now and it's gone cloudy. But there's no noise as, as such, no tyre noise to speak of. Uh, Discovery, you, you've got less noise and less less feel through the steering wheel as a from a Range Rover Sport, but drives equally as good. And as far as I know, I think it's the same chassis. Very, very comfortable car. Wipers are perfect. We have a rear wash wipe. Yeah, we've got a rear wash wipe there. Yep, that's all good too. Whoever's had this car has looked after it or this van has looked after it really well. And when you see some of them that get abused, it's just, uh, it's, a, it's a very good example. With a bit of luck, the lights will be on red down here, which never happens when I want it to. Uh, I want to just stop and do something. There's also a car behind me here, so no, I bet it's going to change as soon as we pull up to it. Yep, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Very, very sure footed round corners. I'll pull up underneath the bridge. Because it looks like this light's going to stay on green for me too. Not sure what's stopping him turning right, but. Oh, my word brains is stopping him turning right. Now as 
well is going to be if he doesn't get his uh, foot down we're going to be behind a tractor up here I think oh goodness me be behind the tractor is he coming out let's just see is he coming out no right so I'll quickly pull up let Reginald mole husband no we don't we don't have but uh, yeah so we've got height and reach adjustable steering wheel there and then we'll give this van a bit of time So there, if I just press the auxiliary button, that goes onto Bluetooth. Um, if I click it again, that tractor's pulling out, so we'll we'll go. I always like to just approach these bends at speed, especially in Range Rovers, big any four-wheel drive with big like knuckle joints on the front because they, they take some shift in to, to make them knock. If they are faulty at all. And uh, absolutely nothing. I didn't expect there to be anything wrong, to be fair, because when somebody specialises in a vehicle, like K Motors and they specialise in Land Rovers, then you get to know what goes wrong with them. And uh, to be honest, you can you can virtually look at the car from the outside and know what's going to be wrong. And that this. These are the sort of the days when you really appreciate being in a Land Rover product because they're made to go through two foot of water and the harshest conditions, the harshest angles and uh, it's, it's just no effort. It's, it's, it's a kind of train hard fight easy scenario if you get something that's built for the worst conditions when it's only average conditions then it, it's no trouble even a, th this road's very very bumpy as well and it, it's nothing suspension just soaks it up so I can thoroughly recommend this another great purchase and uh, be quick give us a call or a live chat or an email get in touch quick or it'll have gone I think I, I, I usually put the kiss of death on things when I say stuff like that so best not to be too cocky Um, thanks for watching. I'll, when we get back to the garage, I'll show you how to pair a mobile, how to delete a mobile, how to stream audio, and uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.